Today we find ourselves at St Mary's Catholic Cathedral in the Sekiguchi area of Bunkyo City. Now this very modern structure is, believe it or not, at nearly 60 years old. First, a little bit of history. There has been a church on this site since 1899, uh, the land having been bought uh, for Pierre-Marie Ozov, a French missionary, um, in 1886. The original church was in a wooden Gothic style, um, and it was first known as the Chapel of the French Missionary Seminary. Um, but in 1900, that then changed to the Church of the Sekiguchi Parish. And in 1920, it became the Cathedral of Tokyo. Now, it survived the 1923 Kanto earthquake, but it didn't survive the American bombing. And on May the 25th, 1945, the old church burnt to the ground. In the immediate post-war period, none of the surviving buildings on this site were deemed fit for the purpose of a cathedral, and the duty of cathedral actually fell to the Kanda church. As the situation improved, thoughts turned to building a new cathedral, and with the help of the Archdiocese of Cologne and their chief architect Wilhelm Schloms, and some money, architects were invited to submit designs. Now there were three shortlisted designs for the cathedral. Naturally these three designs were all very modern. Kunio Maikawa and Yoshiro Taniguchi um, proposed, and I'm not sure which one proposed which, um, but there was a massive square like cube that looked like a museum, or a building that was shaped like a ginkgo leaf. But the winning design was by Kenzo Tange. You may remember him from the Tocho building. I did a video on that. The link is below. Now it is a funny story. When Cardinal Doi, the first Japanese to be made a Roman Catholic Cardinal, was asked what he thought, and he actually held the ultimate decision on whether the project moved forward or got cancelled, he just said that he accepted whatever they chose as God's will. Um, and he put them trust in the board. And when he was pushed, if he wanted to see the models and blueprint uh, of this cathedral, he brushed them aside and smiled. It's reported that when he did actually take a look at the models and blueprints, um, he was more than a little surprised. Okay, now on to the structure. Um, it was designed by Kenzo Tange in 1961 and construction started in April 1963 and was completed in December 1964 and the observant among you will recognize that date as being the Tokyo Olympics. It's kind of mind-boggling the amount of concrete and construction that went on in that period. Okay back to the building itself. Um, it was built in steel on top of a concrete HP shell. The HP stands for hyperbolic paraboloidal, um, which sounds like a very difficult maths term, but actually means it's double curved. Um, and from its kind of rectangular floor plan, it actually rises for its eight walls to form a cross. And if you look on Google Maps on the satellite, you can very clearly see that cross shape. Now I have it on good authority uh, that the roofing material you see here is not actually steel. Um, from what I can make out, it was replaced with zinc um, in 2007. And that was because the original stainless steel um, and the bolting system had deteriorated um, over the 50 years it had been up there. The roof raises to a height of 39.4 meters. Um, and next to the building is the bell tower, separated by a short distance uh, in the European style. And this rises to 61.6 metres um, and can be seen for miles around. In fact, the bells in there were made in Germany. But they aren't the only thing that were made in Europe. Inside the cathedral, there's a rather large organ. Um, and this was renewed in 2004. Um, with an organ from the Italian firm Massioni, who actually specially built an organ that would fit through the doors um, before being assembled inside. 
Outside the cathedral, uh, we have a collection of auxiliary buildings holding the offices and meeting rooms um, and the all-important shop. Now, if you look closely at the design of these buildings and at the base of the cathedral, you'll see a kind of stone pattern. Um, now, we've seen this before at Tocho, um, the same kind of Japanese castle fortification or shrine and this is on purpose. Kenzo Tange borrowed an idea seen in Japanese shrines and temples um, where you enter through a tori or gate and have to make a walk around the compound before you come to the area where the priests and the rituals are held. This allows guests um, to adjust their feelings or to contemplate where they've come. Although, unfortunately, most of the outdoor space is now used for car parking. If you're in further need of contemplation, um, you can always visit this rather kitsch recreation of the Grotto of Lords. Um, it was actually built in 1911, um, and it was commissioned by a French missionary, Father de Monge. Now, whether it's a true recreation of Lords, I don't know, because I've never been to the original. So what are the thoughts on the building? Well, it's been described by those in the know as modernist yet metabolistic, abstract yet symbolic, bright yet dark. As a layman, I can only agree that it is a striking building. And from initially being quite negative about it, I've come to appreciate and even have a certain fondness for Kenzo Tange's creation. And it's quite fitting that this is where he chose to have his funeral, which was duly held after his death in March 2005. Now we haven't filmed inside um, the cathedral, um, but I'd highly recommend if you are in the area to take a visit. Thank you for watching.